Okay, so we got the shipping container there, and we got the car here. And we're going to go back to the shipping container, and I'm going to show you what I'm trying to do here. And it can get a little complicated, but stick with me here. And then uh, after we do this a couple of times, we'll start editing the level down here again. So let's get on with it. All right. So the first thing we want to do is press Escape and go to your environment. Well, first let's press J and pause everything and turn our wind up to 470 miles an hour. Then we're going to come up here to environment and go to zero gravity. You can see it turned to 0, 0.00. Press escape. And we're going to stick with the uh, shipping container. We're going to follow the shipping container down. So when I release this, the shipping container should float up and, you know, it's a zero gravity. And the wind pushing it should help it accelerate really fast into the car. And we got the speedometer up here, maybe to tell us how fast it's going. And once it starts going, I got to press Alt, left arrow, and slow everything down. So Alt, left, left. Yeah, it is showing us our speed. It's all well, the car messed up. I can see the car down there. We can fix that. But anyways, we'll let this go. 140 miles an hour. You can see the car went up because of zero gravity. So we got to fix that. So we're going to press J here. And let me explain what is supposed to happen. <clears throat> the car is not supposed to be like that. The car is supposed to be flat. I have to decrease this angle a little bit so that the car will lean down and the wind will go up over the hood and hit the windshield and force the car down. So what happened here is wind got underneath the car. Remember there was 470 miles an hour, almost 500 mile an hour winds hitting the front of that car and it pushed it up. So anyways, we'll just let the shipping container hit the car and see how it lines up with this deck because I may have to raise this deck up or down. <clears throat> so we're going to let press J and let it go and then use alt left arrows to control our speed. Perfect clearance and yeah that's going to work out just fine because if that car was still in that spot it would it would it, it would have squished that car. So let's reset the graphics and we're going to press shift R to reset everything. Now we got to do a little bit of work here, so we're going to turn our wind down, press escape, come to environment, and turn earth gravity back on. And let's press J, and everything should be back to normal. We're going to hit alt, uh, right arrow, like three or four times to bring everything back to normal speed. So now everything's back to normal. The shipping container should stay there. Yeah. So what we got to do is tilt this car down. So we need the wind is coming underneath and pressing the car up so we want to tilt this down so we're going to press J and then F11 highlight that come up here to rotate key or you can press number two on your keyboard turn that down just a little bit about like that <clears throat> now we want to do the same thing to the car and let's bring the car right about like that forward down number two okay I think we got everything set up now. So I had to pause the game and uh, stop recording. I got this platform right here on about a three degree angle and the car sitting properly. And I also have the bumper pressed against the wall. So what we're going to do, F11, let's go back to the shipping container and let's try again. Now hopefully what I'm trying to do, like I said before, I want the wind to be able to get across the hood and the windshield and force the car down. And then the shipping container can hit the front of it. So here we are at the shipping container again, and let's start everything up. J, let's crank our wind up, 470. Let's go to environment, zero gravity, escape, and we're going to stay with the shipping container, but we have to slow it down. So as soon as I hit J, I'm going to hit Alt, left arrow, left arrow. So J, left arrow, so that's a decent speed. 140 or 140 miles an hour. Oh, the car's up again. So let's reset. Let's go to the car and let's figure out what's happening over here with the car and why the car keeps going up. Well, this time it seems to be staying. It's J and hit Shift C so we can detach ourselves from the car. Let's see what happens here. Graphics are slowed, or physics are slowed down, so hit Alt, right arrow, increase them a little bit. The car is staying there. The car is staying. 
Here it comes. Let's hit that. The car is staying where it's supposed to be. Let's get a good spot so we can get a good view of what's going on. Now, let me explain something. As soon as that shipping container gets, you know, in scale, maybe five or ten feet from here, I'm going to pause it again, and I'm going to turn Earth gravity back on and turn the wind off. Because nobody would see any of this if I was making a video. Nobody would know what I'm doing. They would, they, everybody would be, how can this shipping container fly through the air like this? So, let, here it goes. Right here. Now we're going to go turn the wind off. Put earth gravity back on. And the purpose for this is after it hits, we want everything to bounce and land back on the, uh, on the ground. So we'll come back to this side. And right about here should be good. That was intense. So we'll press J, and now we're going to hit tab, or number one. <laughs> Look at that. And we want to get locked to the car. I think we're on the car. Yeah, we are on the car. So J, and you come around, and you're on the car. And that's how you do your... That's awesome. And we could hit Shift C and get inside there. Get a scene from, a shot from here, of the dummy. and then go back to the outside. That's incredible. That is a good stunt. So let's hit Shift R to reset everything. And um, now, since I've done that and it worked successfully, let's go back down here and I'll show you a little bit about what I did down here. So <laughs> it's quite easy. It's nothing really complicated. We'll press J and then F11, and you come up here to recess um, your ground. You just press on the terrain tool and lower height, and we have a brush size of 11, pressure 0 0.10, 1071, 512. Let's just drop this down a little bit, right about like that. We'll make it deep, kind of deep. and. When we're done with that, we're just going to click on the river tool and you press your uh, alt button and your mouse and come across. That's good. You can see we're a little bit narrow right here. So we'll come over here and just make it a little bit wider and wider and wider. Go to about 15 to 18 I think would be fine. <coughs> and now we're going to have to lower this. Okay, that should be good. You can lower it. Oh, you can see one side. Oh, I, I widened one side, not the other. So I'll highlight this and see what that side is. 17.60. <coughs> now I'll highlight this one. And it's 10. So we'll make this one 17. Well, we're good. That's more than enough. So let's lower it. We'll click on this side blue and lower it. Click on that, lower it. And there you go. That's how you make your water. And we're actually going to go a little bit lower with that on both sides. And we'll hit F11, J, let it play. And that's how you make a quick little water pit. And if you want to paint it, just press J, F11, and uh, let's go back to Terrain Tools and Terrain Painter. And you can see I have a couple of default, like rocky dirt, to make this brush a little bit smaller. And we'll paint the bottom of it with dirt. And, and we'll make the sides with these rocks. And that's basically it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do over here. I want to put rocks on the side of this. I like the rock on the side. It looks pretty cool. 
and then the dirt on the bottom. <clears throat> So I am going to go around here and um, paint these rocks on the entire edge of this water pit. So I'm going to go all the way around. So I'm going to pause the video and do that and I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. I'm just about done. Got a little bit more to go. And there we go. I can come back and do a little bit more later. So there we go. Nice rock pit. Now it looks much better. So these shapes here, all that is, is one of these. I just highlight it, press shift, and up on the arrow. And then number three for scale and just shrunk it this way and it gave it that cool texture and just make it taller that's how I made those so we'll press highlight that and delete that and the BMMG logo thing was on the ground right here and I just did the same thing with that and the lights uh, are very easy you just come up here Click on that check mark, or the plus sign, come right here, and then you're going to add a light. Like, let's say, we'll go down here in this shadow and add a light down there. Come up here and select Object, highlight the light, press number one on your keyboard to move it. That's pretty cool. Well, you can come down under the water with it. Press number two, rotate up. If you want to, um, you can add an animation. Come over here to the right. This is the inspector. And right here it says animation type. Click on that. Come down here to spinning light. You can see it spins like a police siren. And then if you click over here on color, you can make it red. And we'll hit F11 and exit that. J. See how it looks. If you want to make counter rotating lights like police car lights, what we'll do is, since we already have that one there, we're going to copy it. So we're going to press Shift. We're going to move this one over a little bit. Right about there. And come up with it. And then we're going to hit Shift and copy this one and bring it over. So now you got two of them, but you can see they're spinning in the same direction. And now what we're going to do is, I want them rotating towards each other. One going rotating to the left and one rotating to the right. So we're going to press Two. Now we're going to come up here and click on this 45 degree rotate snap and do one, two, three, four. Right there. And now we're going to pull this up. Wait, let's undo this. Pull this up right about there and change this one to blue. And let's press F11 and exit. And there you go. I like that looks a lot neater when they're coming towards each other than both rotate in the same direction. <clears throat> but, I don't know. I guess maybe I'll leave them there. So let's hit Control S to save. Um, let's say you wanted to add uh, a particle emitter from here. Um, kind of like you see on uh, Car Jump Arena with the sparks. You come up here to Create Object. Come over here to Particle Emitter. We'll put a Particle Emitter right there. We have to exit. Make sure that we're not on um, pause. But we can pause now. Now that it's started, you can pause. And there's your Particle Emitter. And you can change that. You highlight that. And over here, um, you have right here, it's emitter, BNGP1. You can click here, 
and change. It should change. Oh, oh, I'm still on the emitter. There we go. And you can go through this entire library here. As you can see, there's quite a few of them. And these are all different effects for emitters. Confetti. Um, let's see a couple more of them. Steam, which is pretty cool. I think steam would look good if we put it down here. Um, I think that actually looks pretty cool in the water. We'll try to center it up like that and put one of them right there. Be nice if there was some kind of a pipe or something down there like it's leaking. <coughs> Let's press F11 and see how that looks. Yeah, kind of out of place. Doesn't really serve a purpose. <coughs> F11. We'll highlight that. Let's change it to something else. And let's see. Oh, a sprinkler. Let's see how a sprinkler looks. Now that looks pretty cool. And if only I had a pipe there. But we are going to delete that. <coughs> let's see if there's anything else. Uh, let me just show you. We can click up here and make a road. If you uh, want to make a road, like perhaps you want to make a road to go from here to there, you just highlight the road editor, Alt, click the mouse button, come over, and that's it. And again, you can do the same thing with a road as you can do with the uh, river editor. You can come up here and make it wider and narrower, and you can the uh, Nod depth is the thickness, and you can give it a texture here for the top and the side, and or that's the bottom and the side, and there you got yourself a road. If you're on the road up here, you cannot move it, so you want to click click on the object select, and then you can move it. So you're gonna. Position it in front of that car over there. <coughs> if you had to make a road or something like that, you could line them up, and make it longer, and straighten it out. But that's it. So you can see the graphics are broken on this car. So if we exit F11 and get on that car, and press R, you'll see it will repair everything. So now everything's back to normal. So let's stay over here with this car. The shipping container's over there. Press J. We'll try to recreate that same scene we did earlier. Let's go down here and turn our wind up to 470 miles an hour. Go to gravity. Turn the zero gravity. <coughs> now I'm going to press J, and then I'm going to have to slow everything down. We should be able to see that shipping container coming at us. So J, Alt, left arrow, left arrow. That's pretty good speed. So if I was making a video for YouTube for this, I would probably use the camera. So press Escape, get your camera. Field of view, f uh, depth of field, and we'll blur out the background. We go over here. And let's blur out the, the tube, something like about like that. And now we don't want to press escape here. We want to press Alt U. And that also makes the gives you a very fluid movement on your camera. So we're going to press J and then control Alt left arrow for speed. J. Now let's go to a different position. And now remember we have to put everything back to normal so it looks like it's on Earth gravity. So Alt U, Escape. Well, let's go back over there again. 
Now let's go back here and turn Earth gravity back on. Go down here, turn that off, escape. Let's go back to our camera. Alt-U. So now wind is off and Earth gravity is back on and we're in a camera mode so it's nice and fluid. So we're going to press J and then Alt, right arrow, right arrow to speed things up. J. Let's get locked on the car. Pan out just a tad. Well, we can't pan out. So here we are. And there we go. Another successful stun. I don't even see the dummy again in this one. You could, uh, if you were recording, you could get inside here and go real slow with your camera. Pan out. Alright, shift R to reset everything. Let's tab back over, and that's it guys. I don't know really what else I can show you here today, but that's everything. I hope you learned something. If you have any ideas, suggestions, or comments, let me know down in the uh, comment section, and please like and subscribe.